um, today we're going to do a little bit of drip painting. Um, I've done a few examples earlier today with my kids so I'll have them up on the video. Um, I decided to use flowers as our inspiration because uh, a lot of flowers are in full bloom and uh, it's just made everything just really colourful when you go out for a walk and it's beautiful so I thought it would be nice to use that as our inspiration and uh, you can go onto the internet, you can print off flowers, you can use flowers that you have in the house or outside and pick them and bring them in so yeah I've decided to do that so uh, we're going to use a mix for the drip painting you need to mix your paint with a PVA glue that makes it nice and runny uh, so I've got PVA glue you pour this into a container. Now pick the amount of colours that you can use. You can use one colour or you can use four colours or five. So don't waste the PVA glue so just use a blob like that. Now for the colour of this flower it's a nice fluorescent -y kind of pink so I'm going to use a mix of this and my fluorescent pink and that's an acrylic base so I'm just going to do a tiny amount there. Now you don't need much as you can see and I'm just going to put a little bit of this in as well just to mix it in with. Now you don't have to mix two colours, you can just use one. For these ones I've just used one colour. Now I'm going to mix, I got, I've got chopsticks here so I'm just going to use them to mix. You can use a paintbrush as well. So that's my colour mixed there. Now, so you don't really need as much, I might actually use the paintbrush, but uh, yeah. So once you've got your colours mixed, then you can start to draw out your flower. Now I need some tissue here, so I'm just going to get a little bit of tissue and then we're going to start our drip painting. You don't really need much for this, you just need PVA glue, paint, and your image that you're working from. If it's a still life, have it in front of you. If not, uh, you can use a picture. Right, so I'm gonna start off with an outline and I think I'm gonna use the darker color for that. So I'm gonna look at the overall shape. Now, as you can see, the paint is very runny, okay? So it's good to use. So I'm gonna start off with the center. I'm gonna do it quite big and make sure that's the center of the flower and then I'm going to make that come out a little bit. Now you can see I'm not touching the paper, I'm letting the paint just fall onto it. I'm using that to help me draw out the shape. Look, just see, watch the way it falls. Just use that to drag it up. If you don't have enough paint on your uh, paintbrush or whatever utensil you're using, it will not. There we go. See, you'll know how much if you have enough of it. Right, there we go again. And there we go again. So you get the idea. So we just let that drip. So hence the name drip painting. So the PVA makes it more elastic so it kind of it's easy to fall onto your page. Now I've just filled that all up. Now um, whenever I'm changing the colour I could still use the same paintbrush or a chopstick as I've got in the other one uh, and you can just clean it off with a wipe with a um, with a tissue. Now I'm going to keep doing this and I'm going to speed it up so you can watch it uh, and yeah, hopefully you'll see the final product soon. That's my drip art painting. Uh, let that dry and it'll actually dry textured. 
uh, let it dry overnight. Uh, it should be, it should turn out really well for you. Uh, don't be afraid if you get marks, you know, whenever you're doing the dripping, if they kind of uh, fall off where you're not supposed to or you don't want it to go because it can actually, um, you know, lend itself really well to the picture. Be creative, guys. Really enjoy the process. As you can see, mine is nothing like the picture, but it's my interpretation of what I feel uh, the picture is to me. Um, yeah, I really enjoy what you're doing and I can't wait to see all of your drip art paintings. You'll see the piece that I did with my kids earlier today. You'll see them in the video as well. If you don't have acrylic paint, you can use inks as well. You can uh, try and color your uh, PVA with, um, you could use, say for instance, you can use inks like this or you can use watercolors maybe and just mix in the color into the PVA experiment. But the PVA glue is what you need because that gets that stringy effect that we're looking for. Do not touch the paintbrush onto the page. That's the trick as well. You want to let it drop onto the page fluidly. Okay, I look forward to seeing your work and uh, best of luck with it guys. Bye.